And I'll try it sashimi, the belly meat. Wowzer, look at this stomach. Man, is it full. Whoa, look at. Oh, here we go, hooked up. Oh, good flounder, you guys. Good flounder. Oh yeah, good old, good old flatfish. Oh no, it's not, it's a trout. Oh wow. Oh, what a surprise. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful surprise there. That is definitely my best trout. That, wow. Wow, oh my gosh. He just slayed that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and clean our trout up here. We'll give it a nice fillet. I think this cooler is good luck. What do you guys think? Somebody said I need, well actually a few people said I needed to upgrade to a larger cooler here after that last video, but I don't know you guys. This cooler has been providing and holding our fish pretty well here. Look at that beautiful trout. And I'll go ahead and address this question. I had it from a few people, even my grandma asked it. And that was, you know, I thought trout were in the rivers and uh, lakes not in the ocean. And this is a spotted sea trout, or you'll hear me call it a speckled sea trout, because that's what I grew up uh, hearing it called. And wow, this one is pretty large. So in North Carolina, they've got to be 14 inches or larger, and you can keep up to four. So let's go ahead and give it a nice cleanup with a good fillet. So let's get a nice sharp knife here. You guys see all of that that I just wiped off there? That's why you want to wash your knife and wipe it off if you didn't know that. Okay, let's give this a fillet here. And of course, we are going to take a look inside the stomach and see what this trout enjoyed up to the moment. I caught it on the tandem rig, if you didn't see the last video. So, cut through that meat there. You see, in the black drum video, I didn't show it after I told you guys grandma would be disappointed if she saw, but this meat right here is really good meat. And we kind of missed out on it when we cut our fillets. So I kind of need to think more about that and maybe come in and round this corner off and get a rounded fillet here. Just something to think about. What? Oh, here we should, um, we should remove the scales probably and leave the skin on. Yeah, let's do that real quick. I like how it looks when we vacuum seal it. And I've just been trying a lot of this fish skin on and um, one filet like skin off. So we'll just do that for this side. And the other side we will skin. Speckled trout is one of my favorites and one of my brother's favorites to eat from the ocean. It is a really tasty, good fish here. These are most commonly caught in the, in the fall, so I haven't had a chance in the past years with school to get out there, but with this whole new COVID system and finishing classes by Thanksgiving, I'll have an extended winter break here. You know what that means. You know what that means. Okay, let's start running our knife down. Backbone here. I'm just trying to go slow for you guys to see here as well and we'll pop out the back side there keep it at an angle and cut down and now we'll start running our knife down the bone at an angle capturing all the meat that we can 
My grandma is going to be mad when she sees that I have filleted this fish. She does not take fondly to filleting. Going slow here. Oh, I made it around the ribs. So if I can get that cleanly around the ribs, I usually try to do that. That way we don't have the rib bone in there. Cause a lot of times um, I'll come to cook the fish later on and just kind of forget that there's that rib bone in there. And I'll make like a taco or something and bite down pretty hard, unexpecting we hit a rib bone. Nice, look at that. So just taking my time here, making sure we get all the meat. Look at, look at how clean that's come off there. I'm running my finger and feeling bone, so. See if you guys can hear that. We got all the meat there. Like I said in the video, this was probably a pregnant female, and it is. There we go. That's fish roe, fish eggs, whatever you want to call it. Lots of little eggs in there. Hopefully that's focused and you can see that. And this filet, this filet has the, uh, belly meat here that is some good stuff there ribless and everybody will enjoy that I think that deserves to be the thumbnail what do you guys think that is just beautiful Guys, this trout smells really, really good here. Like, just smelling my hands, that it's got like a salty, slight fishy smell to it, but it smells really good. And this is, like I said, one of my favorite fish to eat, one of my brothers, and probably one of my family's favorite fish from the ocean. There's another trout that they catch called like a gray trout, or a weak fish you'll hear it called as well. Oh, hey, let's go. With this one, we can implement what I said and try and cut it around so we get all of that belly meat. All of the belly meat. Look at that. So, look, I brought it back here, whereas this one, we didn't do that and we left out a good little chunk of meat there. Like, I might as well cut that out and give it to Lucky when we come to cook it up. Look at that. That's like sashimi piece right there. I think I am going to freeze this and eat it myself. Give it a little piece of Lucky. We'll freeze it, kill off any uh, potential parasites here, and I'll try it sashimi, the belly meat. Wowzer, look at this stomach. Man, is it full. Whoa, look at how many mullet we've got in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check that stomach out right there. That is incredible. That's why it was so fat as well. Put that all back in place here. <laughs> Tuck it back in. Tuck this back. 
play a little doctor here. And so we were doing this one skin on. This one is ready to go. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this filet I just did. A little bit of tail there. I like that. I like that. Why don't they start doing that in the stores? Do a little bit of tail there with the spots. That looks cool. Oh yeah. So we'll uh, go over to my cousin's and vacuum seal these. Man, that's a big filet. It's like the red drum pretty much. Okay, we're ready to fillet this one here. And we'll go nice and slow as well. Peace. Going nice and slow here. Make sure I stay above these fins because there's nothing more annoying than going underneath the fin and trying to recover. And this one we're gonna do skin off so we didn't scale this side at all. Let's see if we can do the same on this one and go right around our rib bones. And then once we get here, we'll separate. Okay. And our second fillet off of our trout here. Maximizing all of the meat that we can get off of it. Right? Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Kind of disappointed right here, but it's not something to cry about here. Because that is a thin looking trout. I did a little bit of a screw up here, but I got the meat off. That's all that matters. And it'll make good tacos like the red drum. So let's go ahead and turn this around. I need a bigger board, don't I? Let's extend it out. Perfect there. All right. Start cleaning off. Very nice there, very nice. And why doesn't our belly meat want to stay attached here? Oh, right, that's right, when we were filleting it, we kind of cut right there, but that is all right. You know, they always, oh, they always, people always say the belly meat is the best because it's got, it's got a lot of fat in it, so I find that true as well. Like the bottom of the flounder, I guess that you can call the belly or whatever, that tastes the best in my opinion. So I'm gonna freeze this piece right here for a few hours, or not a few, probably like seven to eight, and then eat it raw. 
right now let's see if we can go vacuum seal these at my cousin's house but before we do that we've got to open up our stomach here let's get all of our meat on this side of the table here so we don't spoil it and then we can do all that I wonder if we'll find any shrimp. Oh wow, as I say it, as I say it, if we'll find any shrimp. So shrimp are running in the surf, you guys. You got shrimp, you got a mullet. We've got another mullet and another mullet. My ribbon fish strip. And that is all. Beautiful. Thank you, Trout, for giving us a nice hookup there. Even though we were looking for a flounder, Trout is just as delicious, if not more, in my opinion. Guys, I froze that piece of trout for about 12 hours here to try, or not 12, sorry, 24 hours overnight to kill off any kind of potential parasites that might be on it. And let's go ahead and try it here. I've got my hopes up. indifferent to it. It's not that bad. Um, probably need some soy sauce. So let me grab some. So I poured some soy sauce over my hands pretty much. Got a little bun. Hmm. Now that was good. With the soy sauce, that was like sushi pretty much. So I could see you're doing that with like the belly meat, freezing it sashimi. I could see me doing that in a future video. What do you guys think? Let me know down below with a like. And I'll catch you guys later in a future video. Peace.